Welcome to the Social Lens and thank you for watching. In the ever-evolving landscape of South African politics, a legal storm is brewing. The iconic Umkwanto Wesizwe logo, a symbol deeply intertwined with the country's history of anti-apartheid struggle, finds itself at the center of a legal battle between the African National Congress, ANC, and a new political player, Jobuloni Kumalo. The Umkwanto Wesizwe logo, abbreviated as MK, is not just a trademark, it's a powerful emblem of resistance. The ANC, the party that birthed the symbol during the anti-apartheid struggle, now finds itself in a legal tussle with Jobuloni Kumalo over its usage. Recently, the ANC took a decisive step, unleashing its legal arsenal against Kumalo. The party asserts that unauthorized use of its trademark is not just a matter of intellectual property rights but a question of historical legacy and political identity. The ANC's legal position is rooted in the extensive use of the Umkwanto Wesizwe trademark. It contains not only statutory rights, arguing that it used the mark long before formal registration, but also substantial common law rights due to its historical and consistent use. The party argues that the Umkwanto Wesizwe logo is more than just a symbol, it's an integral part of its identity. The years of association with the liberation movement have created a strong market reputation, forming the backbone of the ANC's legal claim. The ANC's legal representatives argue that Jobuloni Kumalo's use of the Umkwanto Wesizwe mark could mislead the public. The fear is that it might create a false association between Kumalo's party and the ANC, leading to confusion. The ANC has set a clear deadline for Jobuloni Kumalo to cease using the Umkwanto Wesizwe trademark. The ultimatum demands compliance by the close of business on December 29, 2023. Failure to adhere to this ultimatum will force the ANC to initiate civil proceedings against Kumalo. Legal scholars argue that this ultimatum is not just a legal maneuver but a strategic move to protect the ANC's political brand. If Kumalo fails to comply, the ANC threatens to seek compensation for the alleged unauthorized use of its iconic symbol. Could this have been a strategic move by the MK party to garner attention around the announcement and exploit the ensuing legal battle for maximum publicity? The MK Party's announcement was not just a mere political declaration, it might have been a carefully orchestrated event designed to capture the public's attention. By adopting the iconic Umkwanto Wesizwe logo, the MK Party thrust itself into the national spotlight, instantly drawing parallels with the ANC's historic struggle against apartheid. Social media became a battleground for the MK Party, where they strategically garnered support in KwaZulu Natal and beyond. The anticipation and excitement surrounding the new party reached a fever pitch, creating a buzz that couldn't be ignored. The MK party might have anticipated the legal ramifications of adopting the Umkwanto Wesizwe logo. It's a way to position themselves as David against Goliath, the new underdog party fighting against the political establishment. This strategic move potentially turned a legal dispute into a political masterstroke, keeping the MK party at the forefront of public discourse. The MK party might eventually acquiesce to the ANC's demands, agreeing to change their logo. If this were to happen, it could be part of a larger plan to control the narrative. With elections on the horizon, every move by political parties is a calculated one. The ANC's first move against Zuma's new MK party unveils a legal saga with implications far beyond the courtroom. As South Africa watches, the intersection of history, law, and politics in this dispute makes it a noteworthy development. Legal scholars, political analysts, and the public will be closely monitoring how this legal clash shapes the future of political symbolism in the Rainbow Nation. If you found this video informative, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time.